Hey everyone, it's Amy at Listen Simpleholic. I had chemo 14 and 15 since my last video. And I will say since, since my last recordings, my taste buds have changed quite a bit. I can no longer stand anything that's salty. Everything is just, if it's bland, it tastes good to me. Um, if it's vegetables, it's it tastes good to me. If it's fruits, it's okay as well. But anything that is bad for me, per se, I, it actually tastes really bad and salty. So maybe that's a good thing. My mouth is very dry, even with all the water I drink. And the color of my tongue, according to my acupuncturist, is a bit gray, which is not good. And I credit that all to Taxol and all the digestive problems I'm having. I think that they're all connected. Despite not eating as much, I haven't lost much weight. If anything, my stomach protrudes outwards quite a bit. I think it's the steroids, so not really too concerned. I'm sure once I finish chemo and I stop receiving it, it should kind of mellow out, I hope. I know that l this is life or death and my appearance shouldn't be my number one concern but I can't help but still kind of focus on my appearance. That's something I need to work on. I have noticed that my blood counts are low but steady and I credit that to the juicing that my husband provides every morning with beet juice, the protein drinks I've been drinking, acupuncture as well as the water that I drink. And like I kind of mentioned before, since chemo number 14, I've been having a lot of neuropathy on my fingers and my toes. Therefore, my doctor lowered the taxol dosage on chemo 15 so that neuropathy would be less of a concern. However, I just did 15 this week and the neuropathy is still there despite getting acupuncture with electrocurrent magnets. So I think chemo number 16 may get canceled, but it's okay if it gets canceled because I'm still going back to ring the bell. I'll be getting Keytruda um, around Thanksgiving or a little after then. So I'm looking forward to ringing that bell because it's been a long five, six months for me and my family. I know it's been very tough on my husband as well as my girls. And I know they're ready for me to go back to normal, which will take some time because I still have some major milestones to hit before I get there. I need to get a mastectomy surgery done. Um, I will be getting radiation. I'll be getting immunotherapy and I'll be getting reconstruction next year. So a lot to come, but I am moving forward. So I'm glad for that. I will be having a lot of scans uh, about two weeks before the surgery and that will help kind of uh, talk about that new suspicious lump that showed up, what we're going to do about it, you know, has it grown or, you know, has it decreased in size. So we'll get some of the questions answered before the surgery and I'm hoping that there are no lymph nodes with cancer. So that way my recovery will be faster as well. I think all in all, it is pretty, it's, uh, I can't believe that the end is near of chemo and thankful for all my family and friends who have come in and helped, whether that be a meal or prayer or coming in to help watch the kids physically, feed, feeding them, bathing them. It's a lot of energy. So that's what I don't have these days. I don't have a lot of energy. And so I'm really thankful for everyone who has pitched in a little bit of their time or food. That's always helpful. Other than that, I will be back once I'm done. I might, I might make it a live moment where I ring the door ring the bell when I finish chemo and that way I can share it with others at the same time maybe not we'll see just depends on how uh, how I am mentally speaking otherwise thank you guys for watching and until next time bye bye